Hey guys, Chef Jason Hill here, and today we are going to be doing smoked salmon out on my Green Mountain pellet grill. But before we throw this on the grill, there are a few things we do to prep it. It's really easy, so let's get started. First thing I like to do is open the package and rinse it under very cool water on both sides. Then I just transfer over to my cutting board with some paper towels, and we pat it dry. After we pat the salmon fillet dry, you want to take your hand and run it down the fillet and see if you feel any little bones protruding through the flesh. And if you do, either get some needle nose, little pliers, or even tweezers to pull them out. Now that we've rinsed it, patted it dry, checked for bones, I'm going to cut this into four sections. So I'm just going to take my chef knife and go right down the middle, get two halves, and go down the middle again. Now we're going to make up the dry brine. I'm using a dry, some people use liquid. All right, all we have here is two cups of dark brown sugar. And I'm going to add a half a cup of kosher salt. You don't want to use that table salt for this. Then I've got a tablespoon of fresh cracked pepper. I'm just going to mix this up with my hands. So I'm just going to spread some brown sugar on the base of my pan. Lay fish right on top of that. And then we'll add some more sugar mix on top. Try and pack it as good as you can all around. Don't leave anything exposed if possible. And what this is going to do, this is going to cure it. It's going to suck out all the moisture out of this fish. And that way it'll be ready for, oops, be ready for the smoker. Anything that's in there that could uh, get fishy tasting or bacteria issues, it's just going to draw it right out. doing this with my left hand. A little awkward. <laughs> All right, and just make sure you pack around the edges as well. Try not to leave any of the flesh exposed. Pack it down. I'm going to wrap it. Some plastic wrap. I do two layers. I tuck the plastic wrap down around on top of it just to try and get as much air out of there as possible. And then just put one more on top. This goes into the refrigerator for eight hours or overnight. Some people say only four hours, but I really want this to cure for at least eight. All right, we've had it in the refrigerator overnight. Come take a look at this. You can see how much liquid the dry brine sucked out of these fish. <laughs> and uh, definitely difference in color, thanks to the brown sugar. So we just wanna rinse all that salt sugar off of these under cool water as cold as you can get just pat them dry now after you pat dry we're gonna place on a rack to sit at room temperature but make sure you get some kind of non-stick spray on here you don't want your salmon to stick in the smoker they also make these things called frog mats I don't have one but they're like a silicone kind of like a that silicone baking sheets that are out there and you can use those for your smoker so your product doesn't stick to the grill. Okay, you can let these sit here at room temperature for an hour to two hours because it's going to develop a little film called pellicle. And that's what we're looking for because that's going to absorb the smoke. After they've sat here on my countertop for about two hours, I'm going to slice them up into serving sizes. Okay, these are fine just how they are if you want to leave them like this size, but I like to cut them into more of like a serving size portion. All right, my pellet grill is preheated to 150. I'm gonna put these on here for about two hours. 
Just gonna drop it right on top of the grill, close the lid, walk away. Now I got time for a cold pop. Okay, I've got about 30 minutes left on this salmon. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna brush some apricot jam that I melted down in the microwave, about a quarter cup. And while my wife was up there in Cayucos, she got this idea from Smoker Jim, who has this great little fish smoke shop. So let's do this. All right, let's get a nice healthy spread on each one of these. Another tip I learned about this pellet grill, as you can see the foil I have underneath here, I just covered my grease trap with foil. So when we're done, all I gotta do is remove the foil and it's clean. Okay, so another 30 minutes, get a nice glaze on there, and it'll be time to eat. Okay guys, after two hours on my pellet grill, they're ready to come inside. And look how easy they come right off the grill here since we sprayed it. Serve this with cream cheese, crackers, and some fresh herbs. Cold crafted beer or a glass of wine. You got yourself a nice little hors d'oeuvre. Give this recipe a try. I think you'll like it. Thanks for tubing in.